Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and to the start of a little mini travel series. It's currently February half term, well, as of about an hour's time, and we're off to Butlins in Skegness for a long weekend. Myself, my mother, and daughter Paisley, who's seven years old. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm just waiting for Paisley to finish school. I'm all done with work, and then we're gonna hit the road. It's about a three, two and a half to three hour journey for us, so not too bad. We're leaving at a good time, so the road should be okay. And I look forward to taking you guys along. Of course, I'll show you our accommodation, which I'm super excited for. The entertainment that's on offer this weekend is a Masked Singer Live weekend, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. And I'm excited just to be there and to show you guys around the Butlin Skegness Resort. If you enjoy this video, please do be sure to subscribe and give it a big thumbs up. And I hope you guys enjoy this series. If you guys are familiar with me and the channel, you might already know that I'm a little bit of an overpacker. So this is everything we've got. Oh, I'm a bit out of puff. I've been running up and down the stairs like a mad thing. But this is what we've got for the weekend. So a hand luggage size case each, a pillow and blanket and stuff for the car, Paisley's Udi, shoes, car seat, cool bag full of food, one naughty beagle that's not coming. Hello, you. And yeah, some food for our apartment as well. So we should have round about everything we need and more. <laughs> We've made it to Butlins and we're in a gold two bedroom apartment. We've actually just had a surprise when we've got here. So I'll give you a proper tour and everything soon. Hello Angel. Because, Hi. oh, mommy nearly fell then. <laughs> it is, it's just about half past six and we think that the food place closes, oh, at seven. So we need to get some clothes on you and we need to, or are you going to go in your squish mallows? I want to go in my squish mallows. That's like a tracky, but, that's fine. first, can you see my room? Let's just show you Paisley's room quickly and then we're gonna go eat and I'll give you a proper like room apartment tour when we get back. Cause this is nice. This is very spacious, very big, and I think we've done really, really well. But what do you want to show us? Come on, lead the way. So, come with me. The living room is right next to my room, I think. No, darling, that's not your room, that's Danny's room. <laughs> right next to my room. <laughs> These are all fire doors, which is good for safety. Just mind fingers, darling. Okay, and then, so I have my sleeping bag. Nice. That's how we sleep, is it? Okay, cool. And I have my iPad stand. That's where I watch my iPad. Mm -hmm. um, no, I take my iPad up here, but that's for later. <laughs> so I like to go like this, and hold on to this, and climb up. Hold on one leg for five seconds, hold on another one. Why do you need to hold legs for five seconds? To exercise in the morning. Oh my gosh. Well, as soon as we walked in here, I said, oh, how many kids do you reckon have come in here and done this exact Wait, same thing? Yeah. Because it's literally, yeah, Don't not ideal, but there. funny. You have to wear wristbands, sweetheart, to be allowed in. We need to go get some food, baby. Yeah, but first I haven't finished the tour. So here is where I watch my iPad. And when I go down, I even jump onto this bed over here. Mm -hmm. with all my stuff on. Yeah, we don't jump on beds. So we put the suitcase there, haven't we? Or I slide. Woohoo! So we are the Splash Waterworld side of the Skyline Pavilion and we're just heading on in. We've got the premium dining plan. I can't remember if or not I said that. So we're hoping to go in the Yacht Club for some food if that one's open because that's the one we liked when we were here last time. But yeah, super hungry. Super excited to be here now too. Here we are back in the Butlin Skyline Pavilion. God, it feels like yesterday. Welcome to the Yacht Club. I'm so hungry. It's like coming up for 7 p.m. I haven't had any dinner yet, so I'm gonna make the most of this buffet. Oh my gosh, we've got such a good buffet selection. Paisley's got <laughs> some very beige food there. Um, my mum's got some roast bits. I'll actually take you guys out and show you what's there. There's not a lot of people up there at the moment. Are you okay? Yeah. You're getting well, comfy. I did make you have a tomato and cucumber because you didn't have a lot of colour on that plate. 
Well, that's good. You've got more than beige. Okay, so like I said, this place does close at 7 and it's currently 10 to, so um, there may not be the most of everything left, but there's like ham and sandwich meat kind of things. We have salad, so lettuce, jalapenos, corn, onion, carrot, cold slaw, new potatoes, beetroot, all that kind of stuff. And like dips and stuff, pickled onions. And then over to the actual meals, we have it looks like a roast dinner kind of thing going on tonight. So there's chicken and stuffing, Korean style barbecue pork steaks, rice, Yorkies, lots and lots of vegetables, vegan hot dog sausages, caramelized onions, chicken schnitzel. There's sliced corn bratwurst. There's a lot of veggie options here, which is good. Pretzels vegetable lasagna, new potatoes, baked potatoes, jambalaya, and you've got your traditional like fish and chips, beans, mushy peas, and normal hot dogs, pizza, penne pasta, and then desserts and things over here as well. There's not a lot of desserts left. I don't know if they're going to top this up again, but there's like warm toffee waffle sponge, which I'm mm, not sure and croissant bread and butter pudding, there's ice cream, and there's all kinds of cakes, which I'll show you shortly as well. And then obviously more salady bits, like croutons, bread rolls, fruit, and corn, chicken strips, and noodle soup. Yeah, I'm quite impressed with the Yacht Club. I do remember last time this was the buffet that we liked, so I'm glad it's still good. Like, Katie and I are the fussiest of eaters, so for there to be enough for both of us is really, really good. I've gone for like a little roast dinner beside the chips, as you do, because I'm on holiday now and we need lots of chips, but it looks yummy. Yeah, I've got a little Yorkshire pudding, chicken stuffing and carrots. It's a bit dismantled because I had to cut the chicken up, so Paisley could decide whether she wanted to share it, and she did, and chips as well, so I'm gonna have a feast. <laughs> Dinner's done, we're just having a little look round. It's very loud. There's a welcome party on, but Paisley's found the Minecraft grabber machine, so we're gonna try and win. Okay, we are now back in our room, so I thought I'd show you guys around. We actually stayed out a bit longer than we intended to, so we were in a rush to get for dinner because we knew it was closing soon, so Pace went out in like a, <laughs> a little sweatsuit with like squishmallows on, and then we just got a bit carried away and ended up in the sweetie shop, and we watched a bit of the show in the pavilion, and then we went to the 360 stage place and started to watch um, a show in there, like a stunt show, stunt show 360, something like that. It looked really cool. But it's a bit too loud, Pace didn't like it. I think she got a bit tired, but overwhelmed. So it was like, let's just go back for tonight. Like, we've had a long day. We've got all weekend of fun, so that's fine. And I just wanted to show you this apartment before we kind of like unpack and everything like that. And then tomorrow, when we go out and about, I'll take you guys with me because we're doing so many fun things tomorrow. I'm actually really excited, but yeah. Let's do this little tour before we mess it up. <laughs> so we come along the corridor. We're in the Neptune building, I think it's called. Neptune caught the keys. And we go up the stairs. We actually have our own little, like, stairway. Let's close all that up. So we booked a two-bedroom gold apartment and it turns out we've actually got three bedrooms which is really good we've got the main bedroom which is here it's got a double it's got lights up by the bed a heater a window wardrobe desk tv and all the stuff that you need in there we've then got like a kitchen dining room living room area so we've got a dining table there's all the food and stuff we bought which we haven't dealt with yet we've got the full kitchen with the toaster oven fridge freezer kettle microwave tea and coffee stuff we've got the sofa that's a blanket we've bought that wasn't there little tv and another sofa you could fit a good sized family in here to be honest there's a little clothes horse i don't know what's out here just more apartments by looks fit but we are three stories up so i'll show you from the outside tomorrow we've then got the bathroom which is fairly decent sized as well it's all nice and clean you've got your sink your big mirror heated towel rail, the loo and the walk-in shower it's just a little shower head but that's 
absolutely fine. We're only here for a few days. We've got a coat hook area on the landing. We've then got the room that Paisley and I first come into and we was like, oh, this is our room. Paisley and I were always going to have the two beds. So that was this one, which has got a little wardrobe, full length mirror. That door's going to slam. Hello. Oh, it didn't slam. These are all like those fire doors, which is good. and Good to know. Heater, the two single beds plugs. There's no TV or anything in any of the rooms aside from the main room. We've got hangers. That's good. And then you've got the room which Paisley has claimed as her own. Hello. Oh my gosh. Child. <laughs> Making herself really at home. But yeah. I don't suppose there are many children that have come in this room and not actually climbed up there where they shouldn't be. Um, so we'll let her get it out of her system. We've got our stuff. And then this side. I can't really see anything other than car park. But we'll have a look in the daylight tomorrow. Just having a sort out of all our stuff. And they actually did give us a... Uh, tea towel, dishwasher tablets, not cream eggs, strawberries and grapes. Uh, did we bring this? Did we bring the scrubber? On a scrubber. Oh, a little bottle of did they give us a scrubber? No, they, oh. they gave us. Oh, that's good. There you go. So I had the tea towel. There was loo roll, there's towels. Um, oh my these tea and coffee things were here. So it's quite well equipped. But yeah, all in all, we are quite pleased with this gold apartment. It's got an awful lot of space. It's laid out well. It's got all the facilities we need. Could you have a lick of paint here and there? Like, it's a bit scruffy in places, but it's fine. It's absolutely fine. We're more than happy with it. We've got our VIP access wristbands as well because we paid a bit extra so we can go in a bit early to the shows to get good seats and things so I should come in quite handy tomorrow because it's the Masked Singer which is probably the show that I'm most excited for here. We've got a lot of fun things on tomorrow so I will pick you guys up again then. Good morning guys and welcome to our first full day here at Butlin's Skegness. We've just come out for the morning, it's about 8 o'clock. It's drizzling ever so slightly, which is why I'm starting this vlog up here under the cover. But I did think I'd just show you quickly our room, like our view from the front door of the room. So we're actually opposite the north check-in like desk where you come through in the car. And there's a big welcome sign and it's not far from the main area at all really, like a five minute walk, which is brilliant. So we drove in last night and we just checked in there at the north welcome desk. And yeah, we walk along here. It's nice and covered as you come out of the room. And then just over there where all the people are, just over here is where the Skyline Pavilion is. We're gonna head over there now for breakfast. So here's a view of Neptune Court from the outside. So we actually go in on this balcony level and then go straight up some stairs. So all our rooms are on the second floor. Some seagulls sat up there as well. <laughs> I could hear so many seagulls early this morning because obviously the sea is like right over there just the other side of that fence but yeah i didn't realize we'd be up quite so high but it's a really good spacious room so just as we're walking over to the pavilion we're going past the big circus tent which is actually our first activity for today we've got a book in there at 10 o'clock which we booked on the butlins app and i'm quite excited to see it actually i don't think the circus is always here i'm not entirely sure there's also which is quite lovely an ice skating rink here which is near like the pub restaurant it's all inside and i do think that we're going to be giving that a go we've also got the new sky park which i think is new for this year or maybe opened last summer there's loads of new rides at the fairground so we've got an awful lot of fun things to do and we've got to cram it all into this weekend so here's the ice skating rink just before splash water world and between that and the beach coma in just there it looks quite big it's all undercover which will be very exciting won't it good morning my sweet yeah. what are you most excited for today i'm most excited for um ice skating yeah i'm a bit nervous mommy's never ice skated in her years oh. Builder's Bear. Builder Bear, yep. Yeah. There's a Builder Bear thing here which we're going to look at. You've got Dance Academy, we've got Climbing Wall. Hopefully it stops raining. Yeah. So we're back at the Yacht Club. We do get a choice of this restaurant or the one next door, which I think is called The Coast. Um, we like this one. It's a bit quieter and smaller. So I've just got some bacon, egg, hash brown, and a bread roll. Katie's got beans, egg, bread, and just looking at the activities for today. What are you yaying at, Sweet Pea? What are you excited for? Splash Water World, that's tomorrow, isn't it? And pottery painting. We've got so many fun things coming up. But this looks yummy. We've also got some melon, 
random piece of cheese. Wonderful. Yeah, there was pancakes. I got you the cheese tonight, but you didn't want it, so I'll help you with that. Pancakes, pastries, everything you need. We have got some extra things that you do have to pay for, like the climbing wall and the dance academy. But for some reason, we accidentally booked them both for 11.30 today for Paisley. So next step is to go and find customer services or somebody that can help us change probably the climbing wall because I think that's outside and it's a bit wet this morning so maybe we can get that changed to this afternoon that was 12 pounds the breakfast was super yummy it's always just so hard not to eat everything but we did good we did good Paisley loves it she loves like beans and dippy egg and stuff so absolutely perfect and nice not to have to make our own in the apartment as well so yeah I like the premium dining plan I think it's really good we're in the skyline pavilion just heading around to Discover Butlins which is a customer services place don't know if it's open yet it's only nine o'clock but hopefully we can get this booking changed and then we're off to the circus right so Discover Butlins is just opposite like the skyline stage um doesn't actually open till 10 so we won't be changing anything just yet but we're just looking at the masked singer things here I like the sausage and I like Bush Baby as well. Um, I'm gonna try and get the button people on WhatsApp because it says we can do that. So hopefully that's a possibility. We've also got your Costa in here. Paisley's interested in the Build-A-Bear thing. They do somewhere, we haven't seen where yet, but it's quite nice and quiet in here this morning, nice and early. walked around um, down past Reds and the Adventure Golf and the Fair and we've come up to the Sky Park which is all new it wasn't here when we were here last time which is funny really because we literally stayed in those buildings there so if this was here then in summer 22 this would have been so good but looks really good I love all the bright writing and things where it says Sky Park and I think Paisley is in here <laughs> somewhere is she coming down that big slide oh my gosh she's up there it's gonna be wet <laughs> yeah sky park is really good there's like trampolines built into the floor loads of slides loads of like musical stuff loads to do obviously can't show you around because loads of kids everywhere so just waiting for my child to come down this slide she's gonna get wet bottom because it's been raining the slides all wet at the bottom so not the best idea but this is a really nice addition actually and yeah Paisley could literally spend hours here especially if it was a nice day which hopefully it will be a bit later on this afternoon because the sky is just starting to go blue so fingers crossed for some nice Hi! Hi! <laughs> it's a bit quieter around this side but this park is fantastic there's like loads of light up things I can see you at the top my darling <laughs> she's not on her own my mother's watching her um but yeah there's loads of like light up things interactive things sound things so really good for any sensory needs there's a lot a lot to do in here and it looks super fun are you coming down I'll stop you before you get a wet bum are you ready to Butlins! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Are you wet? <laughs> and right next to the Sky Park, they've also got the Sky Park Cafe, which serves the Costa Coffee and looks really good actually somewhere for the parents to sit while the kids are burning off all their energy in the park but yeah it's really good it looks really good for all ages and you've actually got this map here which says like each part like the calm bit which is for under five so you've got some bits for up to 12 so really really good for all ages Pacey could literally spend hours in there <laughs> she's tried each slide the orange the blue and the red they're quite fast but she loved it and it actually says on this sign as well that the park is inclusive, interactive and accessible for all needs. So yeah, really, really, really good. A lot of thought has gone into that and it's obviously a really big investment for Butlins at Skegness and I'm really impressed. I'm sure we'll be back later on this afternoon after our activities. These are really cool. I really like they're built into the ground. It just feels a little bit safer than like a traditional 
trampoline. You're getting a lot of bounce out of that, sweet. Looks good. <laughs> okay, we're now heading back round to the circus, which starts at 10. We've got our um, VIP bands for our early access, so hopefully we can get in there and get a nice seat to see all the action. We've managed to change Pacey's climbing wall. I actually did it on the app, and I'm sure I looked the other day and I couldn't figure it out, but perhaps that was just me having a moment. But yeah, that's all amended now for 3.30 this afternoon so we've got such a fun packed day right heading this way to the big top circus and apparently the circus and the ice skating are still here because the pool is not fully open at the moment i think there's something wrong with it um with the pipes or something so only the slides and the baby pool are open but that's fun we'll still go in tomorrow Pacey will make the most of it look at this big butlin sign we're in the big top ready for the circus are you excited yeah it'll be fun isn't it yeah i've not seen the circus here before so i'm looking forward to it this is gandhi's circus so it looks good it's very like foggy isn't it yeah it's and really hot it is warm in here really warm considering how chilly it is outside it's, it's nice and cozy for like the men in there which was really quite funny and we've come inside the skyline billion and we're going to do a builder bear i'm saying builder bear like it's the brand it's not the official brand i think it's just called new bear to life so pacey's chosen a fox haven't you darling and he's getting his stuff in put in these are all the different guys that you can choose they've got loads they're really cute it's 28 pounds for the teddy and an outfit as well so she'll pick the outfit out in a minute gosh there's an ox rhinos an owl a penguin bunnies frogs ducklings axolotl he's cute we're just in the little outfit hut which is next there's loads isn't there oh that's like a ski girl outfit isn't it you've got little tutus bumblebee and ladybirds little suits and circus ones you've got the skyline gang misty and pip builders <laughs> pirates Casey did have the um angel one a minute ago what did you change it to that was you get accessories do you I think it means the outfit, the accessory. So it's £28 for the bear and the outfit. Is he still doing your fox? Yeah. Putting the heart inside the little fox. That's cute. So here we go. We've got a ski fox. So we just went to build a bear to make this fox. What's her name? You haven't got one yet, and you get a nice bag to keep her in, and there's a little passport in there as well. And you get to put a heart in her. We did. We put her special heart in, didn't so we? I picked it out. I picked this. I could have picked it without the skirt, but I with the skirt. I like the skirt as well. Adorable. And, and then we put it on first, and we took some pictures. Yeah. So the bear building is next to Hot Shots, um, near the Transformers, meet and greet, and just outside where Papa John's and the swimming pool are. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you, Jess. Good girl. Thanks. Bye. Just come back to our room after Dance Academy, which was an extra thing that we booked. Yeah. You liked it, didn't you? That was fifteen pounds, and it was for an hour. And it was fun, wasn't it? An hour and 15 minutes. Was it? Yeah. She got to dance with all the Skyline gang and have a picture afterwards and things, didn't you? Which was yeah. quite nice. It was in red. It's so important to book all your activities on the app because while she was dancing, we were having a look at what else we could do later on this afternoon and anything that's free, like um, coaster painting and just random like arts and crafts stuff, it's all booked up, completely booked up. So definitely needs doing in advance. Completely. We're good. We've got the Mars Singer soon. Mm -hmm. Then you've got your rock climbing, which we rebooked. And then we've got either the pot and paint if it's raining or if it's dry we're going to go to the fun fair aren't we because yeah. i think tomorrow is going to be a bit damp so we'll try and get all the outside stuff done if we can if it's dry today but just made a little drop of lunch we just lunch. got some ham rolls and, and some popcorn, popcorn and some jaffa cakes and then it's straight back out for the mass singer which is going to be a lot of fun i think i'm looking forward to that one are you Bye. Yeah. yeah. Right, here at Studio 36, we've actually made it in time to use our VIP access today because this is the first time out of three shows we've got here early enough because we've been busy little bees. But yeah, got our own bar and go pick a nice table. Brilliant. So yesterday we came in and it was pretty much full up about 20 minutes beforehand. Today we're here 30, well, just over half hour beforehand, just before the general line opens and it's not too full at all. This is what I'm most excited about, The Masked Singer, because I, I love the show. It literally smells like a farmyard in this studio, though. It did yesterday, <laughs> like the actual smell of a farm. It's like, what on earth? But you ready for some Masked Singer, my babe? They also use the B-Serve app in this studio. So it's an app that you download and order your drinks and food off rather than going to queue at the bar because it just makes life a heck of a lot easier. That bar was a ramo yesterday. Right, we're officially ready for The Masked Singer Live. There is a celebrity guest in there i just said the lady at the merch stand is there celebrity she said yeah she wasn't allowed to say i said well we know who it is she said yeah don't know if we will but we did get one piece of merch paisley take it off take it off take it off <laughs> guys the mass singer was so good it was literally just like the show they had a lot of the characters out dancing they had sausage bush baby rubbish and otter and then performing they had a butlins exclusive which was rockstar and space pug as well and it was literally just like the show it was really really good like the format and everything loved it and the celebrities i think it's only on this weekend so i don't think this is a spoiler for anybody but it was um sunita which one of the judges actually guessed and we were like no it was sunita and chesney hawk as well which was quite cool i was surprised because i didn't know if we'd know who they were but we know both of them so that's quite cool it's now 3 30 and we've come outside to the aerial adventure because we've booked the smaller rock climbing for paisley there's a bigger course but you have to be over eight for that one she's not quite eight just yet so she's going to do the little uh, rock climbing wall which will be fun hopefully the rain will hold off because it keeps drizzling on and off like it's not meant to be but it just keeps stopping and starting but fingers crossed it doesn't because then we can go to the fun fair after and have even more fun That's it. Good girl. I think you can make it to the top. Climbing wall done. That was a lot of fun. She loved it. It was good value for money. She got a half hour on there and lots of goes. We've come over to the fun fair and this is all included in the price of your butlings package and there's actually some new rides today so i'm excited to explore and hopefully get on some of them so we've got the orbiter drop tower which is one of the newer rides here it's a decent size it's not terribly high but still it's a bit high for me <laughs> so i think is going on with my mother <laughs> Was it? Wait, I wanna go for super swing. Super swing? That 
actually really look like it packed a punch. I think we're going on the super swing next. Entrance round here. Oh, she's excited. The new rides are good, but the operations, what is that? The operations are really slow. We waited for that line, that last one. What are you doing? Oh <laughs> we waited for that last one for like 40 minutes and there was hardly anyone in the queue, but it's fine. Paisley wanted to ride Super Swing on her own, so there she is, literally on her own. But yeah, these are some really nice additions to Butlins. Really nice. We actually came in via the arcade, so I didn't see the entrance to the fairground as we came in. But they've got this nice new light package as you enter, which is quite cool. And then they've also got a um, height requirement, can you ride guide? And what you can ride unaccompanied or with a responsible adult. So that's really good. And they've set it out really well. There's a lot of space in the middle now. There's new prize winning things. There's a new treat stand with donuts and bits and bobs. So yeah, it's really good. We're just gonna see what we can win on Hook the Duck. We've already got five points. What are we gonna get on our second one? I'd like you to win that Princess Poppy. Oh, you've got your both your ducks, have you? Yeah, she's on the middle row. Oh, okay, seven to fourteen. Cool. And we went for Play Doh. So we had to go in the middle row, so I got a five and an eight. Yeah, five and an eight, and now it's time to go eat. Back in the York Club for dinner. It's about half past five, so it's nice to come in and get warm actually, because the temperature actually went really, really cold then. She's been up once, I've got a good selection tonight and I've got my standard Saturday night. I've got some curry. So I've gone for some chips, a naan bread and some chicken tikka masala. Haven't tried it yet so I can't comment but looks good. Hi! <laughs> I mean mad, you know. Paisley's got some mashed chips and I'm, corn I'm for now. very, very yellow. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> 